Here we have Viburnum trilobum, the American highbush cranberry. It's the most common viburnum in Wisconsin, and in fact, it's distributed throughout North America. Let's take a closer look at how to distinguish highbush cranberry from the other viburnums in the state. Viburnum trilobum, three lobes. You can see that the leaves are three lobed. They're opposite and simple like all viburnum, but viburnum trilobum has paired glands at the apex of the petiole, which is a useful trait for distinguishing this species. Here's a closer look at those paired glands. And also you can see these thread-like stipules that all viburnum have. The fruits are in these terminal clusters and they're rather oblong or football shaped. They start out green, but then they turn characteristically red and they are hang on to the plant through the winter. Sometimes on a winter walk, you can see these beautiful clusters of red berries decorating the otherwise bare plant. American highbush cranberry is also called American cranberry bush, but it is unrelated to the cultivated cranberry fruit. The shrub prefers to grow in moist or wet woods and the edges of marshes. Some authors consider viburnum trilobum to be a variety of the very closely related viburnum opulus that's distributed widely across Eurasia.